I'm at the Thornton Supercharger, which is a V3 supercharger. And this is our first attempt at V3 charging since uh, replacing the battery in this 2012 Signature P85 with a 90 kilowatt hour battery of the latest iteration that was available. Uh, it was done at 122,000 miles, so we haven't put that many miles on it. Um, we're at roughly 20% state of charge, and we'll see what happens. Does it like it? It's talking and it's charging. Let's see what we're doing here. We just drove down from Cheyenne, Wyoming, so we ought to be able to have a pretty warm battery. I'm finding 114 kilowatts rather underwhelming for what is supposed to be a V3 capable battery. Despite that, it's markedly better than our original battery, which on its best day when it was new could only do 90 kilowatts, and when we had it would only momentarily hit 88 kilowatts and then throttle down to about uh, typically uh, 35 to 45 kilowatts for most of the charge. So we'll monitor this for a little bit and see how it goes. I'm going to pause and then restart. We're up to 116 kilowatts. I just moved the charge limit up to 100%. Not that I'm going to charge it to 100%, uh, but I thought that might be limiting the charge rate some. I set the charge limit to 80% because I was curious to see how long it would take to get from uh, 20 to 80%. It's already well above 20%, so. Uh, it looks like 30 minutes more to 80%. And it's sustaining uh, well over 100 kilowatts on charge rate, which is a marked improvement over our battery. Still uh, being told that we were going to get V3 charging capability is something that I, I think they shouldn't do. Uh, when they're talking about replacement batteries on these. It's really more like V2. We're a couple minutes into the charge and it's nice to see that it is sustaining at greater than a hundred kilowatts. Well, it's not going to get any faster. Um, it's still sustaining at a pretty good clip. And that's really what's probably most important rather than peak charging. So I'm going to end this video now.
thank you.